Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Desi Astro, PhD interview series in astronomy, astrophysics, and physics. Myself, Jyoti Prakash. I am currently junior research fellow at Inter University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, Pune. Started working in field of galaxies evolution and dynamics. I would like to share my Aries Nani Tal. PhD in Astronomy and Astrophysics, interview experience, and question asked in the interview. Which might be helpful for other students. Who are futuristic to join Aries Nani Tal, PhD in Observational Astronomy and Astrophysics program. You are also invited to watch my earlier PhD interviews such as IISC, IIA Bangalore, HRI Allahabad, IOC Round 1 and Round 2. IIT Madras, IIT Bombay, ICER Pune Round 1, RR Cat Indoor, RRI Bangalore, PRL Ahmedabad, IIT Kanpur etc. Link has been given the video description. Aries Nanital is a very good research institute where cutting edge research is going with state of art technologies and facilities in almost all area of observational astronomy and astrophysics. Aries has very good observational facilities like Asia largest 3.6 meter telescope as well as liquid mirror telescope. This place is heaven for those who want to pursue observational astronomy and astrophysics. Now, let's talk about my interview and question asked. <laughs> I was informed by an email for my interview. My interview was on 27 July, 2020, via online Zoom meeting owing to COVID-19 restriction. My interview lasted around 30 minutes. In my interview panel, there were 4 to 5 professor and they were, Indranil Chattopadhyay, Yogesh Chandra Joshi, Santosh Joshi, T.R. Seshadri, and Snailatha. When I joined the interview, they asked about my qualifying exam and rank, and my background. One professor asked me which area of astronomy and astrophysics you want to work. I told them, that I would love to do observational astronomy. After that, they asked me, why I want to work in this field as, I am an electrical and electronics engineer by degree. What is your your motivation? Then they proceed further and asked my favorite subjects, MSc projects, and other internships, I told them that, I like classical, quantum and EM theory. And I told them that I have three, project in field of astronomy, these are followings, my first project on black hole shadow at Jamie Amelia University, second on exoplanet, BSRP project at TIFR Mumbai and third at Aries Nanital, project on variable stars. After that, they start bombarding questions on me from different areas of physics and the questions were followings. First question was from mathematical physics. Plot graph f, x, equal to x square minus x plus 3. Find max and min value of f, x. Next questions were from optics. Draw spectrum of sunlight with prism. Mark deviation with respect to wavelength. What is relation between deviation and wavelength? Now further they asked question from electromagnetic theory. If two conducting plates are grounded as shown in this figure, how many image charges will be formed? Find their coordinate of the image charges. Find electric field at origin. What is basic physics behind method of images? How a result will change if you make system at 60 degree angle? After that they asked question from observational astronomy. What are type of telescopes? Construct ray diagram of Cassegrain reflector telescope. What are main advantage of reflector telescope? What is CCD and its application? What is dark current? This was the end of my interview. In conclusion, my interview was a very pleasant experience for me too. Professors were quite helpful during the interview. They gave me some insight when I stuck in answering. And they are quite happy with my style to tackle questions. I hope it has helped you to gain some insight into the question asked in PhD interviews and how to prepare for that. 
Some of the things you can keep in mind while giving interviews are First Don't give bluff answers to any questions Second If you don't know the answer to any question just say Sir I don't know You may ask the next question Sometimes they ask very difficult questions just to check you how you're proceeding on that questions they don't want you to answer exactly. When final result came out, I was no selected, but later got offered to join IOCA PhD in astronomy. So if you don't get selected then please don't be sad. And keep in mind somewhere something incredible is waiting for you. Thanks and good luck for your future endeavor. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Desi Astro. And please press the bell icon to get instant notification. My YouTube channel also teaches you basic of Python programming. And stay tuned for more interview experiences from my friend also. Thank you and have a good day and bright career ahead in life. See you soon with another interview experiences.